we're going to talk a lot about cell membranes. I've got an intro video here and then a whole separate video on um, more details of the fossil lipid bilayer, and we'll see a whole lot more. Let's not start with that. We're going to talk a lot about cell membranes because they're really important. Um, you already know what they are, the membrane surrounding a cell. So let's start by reviewing and drawing out a basic eukaryotic cell. Um, so you probably could label the components here. Nucleus, intracellular fluid, extracellular fluid. And then here, of course, is our plasma or cell membrane. If we zoom in to a small section of this plasma membrane, it looks a lot more complicated than these two lines, which are sometimes drawn as just a single line. It's two lines because it is a bilayer. So let's go through these components in general right now. Um, we'll talk a lot about some of them even more in detail. Okay, so this is color-coded phospholipids. That's these two um, yellow layers down here. It's a bilayer. So a single phospholipid looks like that. Um, in this membrane, they're sitting like tail to tail like that. And then of course, a bunch of them. Those are phospholipids, a type of lipid. Um, we've got cholesterol, the blue stuff. Cholesterol is a steroid. So it's a fat. It's going to help maintain structure in the plasma membrane. Proteins, a lot of different proteins, a lot of different functions. Um, some of them go through the cell membrane. So a transmembrane is what that is. Some of them are just on one end. So peripheral, they're just sitting on, on one end. Uh, transmembrane is also called integral. Not as important as seeing the types we're gonna see about um, in, the, in the future. So we're gonna see channels, um, receptors, a few enzymes that are different. Many of the different proteins in our bodies are gonna be present in the membrane. Um, then lastly, we've got glycolipids and glycoproteins. So the glyco refers to this little green part right here but they're sticking off of um, either a protein. So glycoprotein refers to a carbohydrate group connected to a protein. Glycolipid is a carbohydrate group next to a, a lipid. And these are gonna be important for cell recognition. So cells recognizing other cells, um, often is either self or not self, um, binding to other cells, um, basics of, of blood transfusion and donation um, yeah, so a little bit more about membrane proteins right now. We're going to see them multiple times, but one main point is that there are various types. Many are shown here. This one here is binding to a chemical messenger and causing a signal. So this is a receptor. It's receiving a signal. When a chemical messenger binds to a receptor, it's called a ligand. So this here is a ligand. This protein is breaking something down. It is catalyzing a reaction. It's an enzyme. And that would be the substrate. These two proteins are channels. They're letting ions through or keeping ions from going through, but their job is to allow ions to go through at, at certain times, possibly, or possibly all the time. And these last two are, this will be our glycoprotein. This is a cell adhesion molecule. These are all both related to um, recognition. other cell kind of signals, signals with other cells. We're not gonna talk much about that type of protein. Um, biggest ones here are gonna be receptors and channels. 